What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Naruto drawing. So we're going to be doing Minato in his, in his, with his Death Reaper seal, right? So it's him at the front and the sort of Shinigami, the death sort of Shinigami guy at the back. So he's quite small down here at the front and another character face at the back, head tilted, okay? So that's the main setup, right? Hands sort of pressed together by Minato at the front here, okay? So let's go for it. I'm in landscape paper, use a pencil and an eraser. Sketch it out lightly. You can always put marker on top of pencil. You can't erase marker, so pencil definitely. Let's go. We start with Minato down here, okay? So we start with his eyes, right? So. Yeah, let's just start with his eyes. So we'll go up and across, curve line up and across, like this. All right. And then it kind of hooks down the back, sort of there. Little hook. And you can thicken up the top eyelid a little bit, right? Bottom eyelid then. You could go the whole way around, but there's a bit of a gap in the picture, so I'll just copy what I can see. So like, bottom eyelid just there. And then his iris and his pupil. So you just do like a half circle. He's frowning heavily, right? So the eye starts underneath the top eyelid and you just have half a circle and you do the same thing for his pupil, right? So now it looks like he's kind of looking up, okay? So in Naruto, eyes are in proportion. So the width of his eye fits in between, right? So you can fit a whole eye in between his two eyes, right? And the next eye will start sort of here. Okay, so the main thing to remember is that you can fit an eye in here, right? So here to here, will fit right in there. Maybe even a little bit more. But you know, you have a bit of play. So that there's, a, there's room for an eye right in there. Okay, and then we'll go up this way, like that, and then down here. And you just thicken it up a little bit. Bottom eyelid, around here. And then his iris, half circle underneath, pupil, there, same thing again. Right, so his headband comes right across the top of his eyes, right, and we'll do this before we do his eyebrows, because the eyebrows go underneath, right? So it just comes across here. <clears throat> and then he's like two sideburns like Naruto coming down here. Right? And then his eyebrows, so frowning heavily, curves up right by his eye, underneath the headband there. And then you just add another line so you can color them in yellow. <clears throat> Maybe same thing over here. Just take it sort of up this way. And then you add another section going up there. So for his nose, we just do nostrils basically. So just down here, nostril, nostril. And maybe like a little line coming down, just the, coming down from his eyebrow just there. <clears throat> okay, so his mouth open, right? So, <clears throat> say, yeah, so we'll just go up, cross, sort of down the other side, right? So it looks like his mouth is closed, but we'll just extend this all the way down now, right? So it kind of comes down just this way. Like so.
and then teeth on the top. So teeth just sort of come across here. Like that. And the bottom teeth, you can sort of see the back of them here. And then we go down across the front of his mouth. And these can have, the back molars can have these lines on them. <clears throat> like so. Right, so then his chin, just down here. So some of, like his hand, he's doing a seal, you know, he's praying sort of thing. So he does have a hand coming across his chin. So we'll draw in the chin, but we'll have to raise it. We'll raise the line for the chin, okay, eventually. Um, just so you know, right. So his chin just down here. So it can be like a relatively round... sort of thing like that okay now in terms of proportion I would say like the eyes to the nose is about the same as the nose to the chin right so the middle like his pupil right the middle of his pupil to his nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin okay and the mouth is open so the mouth takes up nearly this whole space right right in the middle so normally like your bottom lip will be halfway between the nose and the chin but because his mouth is open it's pushed down a little bit more you know, so the middle of his tongue is halfway between the nostrils and the chin. So that's kind of your proportion there. And then we will go up the side. So we'll go this way. Push for his jaw. We we'll go up this way as well. Like that. And then we sort of change direction. So like the line, this line goes like off that way. Right, but we want to curve it up towards these sideburns, right? So, and we're just in line sort of with the edge of his eyes, see here? And sort of the nostril, or like the top lip, in that area, right? You want to stop right here and here, and then you'll change direction up to the sideburn. So you just go up this way. Boop. Like that. Roughly up to there. So then he has loads of hair spikes coming all over his headband and long pieces of hair that come down here. So on this side, we'll do the long piece of hair first. Right, kind of like that. And then over here, like so, okay. And then spikes up like this down here. Spikes up to there, another little spike here, and in. Nice. And something similar on the side. One, two, three. Pieces of fringe then coming across here. Okay, so one, two. Now, if I go too fast, just hit your pause button. Right. There. And then inside here we have the metal plate and the symbol of the leaf, right? So, say like, just coming across here. So we'll put another sort of curved line up here. And it comes up like so. Like this. There, there, there. And then we got um, metal studs sort of here, and then maybe a couple you can see on this side. And then the symbol for the leaf is just a spiral with a tail and a beak. So, and you can't really see it under this fringe. So say like the beak is here, right? And then we can just see some of that spiral. So it goes around. Right, and imagine it's kind of spirals inside here, goes around again, spirals inside, goes in there somewhere. And maybe we should see like, can you, should you see a little bit of the tail here? Maybe, just like that kind of thing. Right, so, <clears throat> ears just in under here. Find the nail. 
like bones and ligament lines and stuff for ears just inside there. You just have to suggest these kinds of things. You don't have to draw everything in. And then there's a few more spikes of hair here. Like that. And then all spikes going the whole way around. So, you know, blonde spiking. Just these standard sort of things just going. Yeah, like that, not too complicated. Um, okay, so his hand kind of goes down into two sort of gloves down here. So the fingers start at the top and come down to these. They're like the real long sleeves, right? So just these shapes here. So like this kind of thing, and then one here. Right, so I guess we'll do his arms. We'll put the arms in first because the hands are like in here somewhere. Right, so we'll do the arms first. Or the starts of them. And he's got these sort of coils like wrapped around his sleeve of his hand. Like this kind of stuff. So, right, and another band wrapped around his forearm on each one, like that. And this comes out to his elbow, this comes up to here. Another line sort of here. Just goes in like so. Mm, right, so this is like the start of his shoulder and his elbow. Um, and this will go out to here. that and he has his collar right his big collar that comes down around here and then sleeves go up into his shoulders so we got to do the collar first i guess so it just comes out here like a big spike like a big v that comes out this way goes out down into the back of his hand same sort of thing over here comes out down to there and then this comes around down into there, and then the other side, and around back into there. And then his shoulder's just here, right? So he's got like big sort of sleeve sticking out this way, and the inside of it will go down into there, and his arm will just kind of bump, shoulder bump up into there. Same sort of thing on the other side, so we go down there, and then the sleeve sticks out, comes down to here, and then this will go around, like so, and then this shoulder will just bump up into there, and you might have like a full line or something, just there, a couple of full lines on his body here on this side you know, for his armpits and things. And like his jacket goes off down that way. And it should go, uh, you know, off this way as well. Down off the bottom of my page. Right, so then we can do his hands, right? So. Right, so I guess it's, they start kind of just up at his lip and things right so 
we got like this middle line that goes up the whole way right so I come out from a sleeve right like say say like here right so we got this up right the palms of his hand together so hands are always tricky so like take your time right so they're coming together here the palms of his hand and then they'll go fairly straight right up like this and we've got like a couple of fingers connected in this line right so pretty much all the way up to his lip like here right and then fingers come out the top right so we just come out like here like that and then another set and like if you go over any of his facial lines you can just erase the line right so fingers come down here and these lines kind of bump down towards the back of his hand okay so again and it can be bumpy because he's got like knuckles and things so just like out this way down into here somewhere okay right that kind of shape and then we have two more sets of fingers coming down here so i'll erase this line for his chin first right so then another set of fingers right so they just like curve out here okay got about two bumps like here and then they will go down the back again down here mm. right down like that you do kind of the same thing over this side again so just a mirror image of the other side and hands are always tricky they're never easy no matter know how good you get at them and then little finger down a little bit lower so like here bigger gap right So, roughly speaking, that's what we're after. And then you can add maybe the size of fingernails or something. Just, you know, just suggest some fingernails on his hands just there. Right, but then that's basically his hands. So then inside here, we've got like his shield, you know, his neck armor. Um, I guess that's what you'd call it. It's like ninja armor. Um, so like it comes down this way. It's just like a box here and it has like a double line going up and in behind his head. It goes off that way. This side as well, up off in here. Like so, and then he has the top of that collar here. Maybe like another phone line or something. There for he's got like a turtleneck sort of collar thing on here. And then his the center line for that just coming down here. And some more sort of pockets and lines just there. Right, so that Death Reaper then that's behind him. Right, so just zoom in. Gotta zoom in. Okay, so this guy, his head is tilted. He's got like a knife in his mouth. Okay, 
So I guess we'll start with his frown, right? Just above Minato up here, right? So he's got like a big sort of frowning kind of thing going on, right? Like this big sort of frown here. And then another frown on this side. And it kind of goes underneath hair, so we might have to erase some lines, right? So he's got these frowning lines. And we're on diagonal. His head is tilted. He's real creepy looking, right? And he's got these black eyes. So underneath, you just draw black eyes there, black eyes there. And this will go. This side goes underneath his hair, so you can't really see it all. But I'll draw it in anyway, and then we'll draw the hair over. And like a line underneath his eye, you know, like wrinkles and some sort of frown sort of here and then his eye he's got these glowing yellow eyes so you just draw a half circle just there and then a half circle getting under there I think he has a pupil I'm not sure but then around this is black mostly or like a really dark grey depending on what way you like to color your characters, right? It's kind of like that. And then he's got a long nose, so it's like big long line there, slightly to the right of the middle line. And then nostrils come around the side here, here, and then they come down to a pointy sort of part on his nose here. So he's got a real like sort of what we call like a in Ireland a drinker's nose. <laughs> Like a real big bulbous sort of nose. So his mouth then comes over that sword, right? So we got to draw that. So he's got like this cat like sort of mouth that kind of curves around like this. It goes underneath the nose and then back out the other side, right? Just there. And then we got like a couple of sharp teeth. I can only see two in the picture, but there's like lots of different pictures. So I'll add these two here. And then maybe a couple more, just one there, one there. We'll put three on each side. So then this sword, right, comes out along here. So you could use a ruler for this. So like it goes out to say there, and then comes out to a point out the front, say here, right? So. Right, and then the handle ends like on this part, okay? And this, the top is like, got that curve on it, you know? It's like a dagger really, rather, you know, rather than a sword. So the handle then comes along here. And then this end. along and maybe curves slightly at the end comes up a little bit maybe that way and then there's another line coming in, coming through the center and curves up here and then we have metal on the ends and then some more sort of wrapped bandage lines chin comes around here just simple sort of round kind of chin thing and then he seems to have like a bottom lip line or something here I'm not sure and then the side of his mouth can be seen here maybe a little bit here as well and then he's got these elevated sort of cheekbones right so like comes around this way And then the side of his face goes up underneath his hair here. So it like comes out, curls around, up that way. And maybe 
maybe some extra lines just underneath his eyes there like that. All right, so his hair, real long, right? So it's, it's gonna start, say, like here somewhere. And then it'll go down, go over this line down this way a little bit. And then along here as well. It goes over the eye a little bit there. Now you can move your hair, so you could like move it out if you didn't want to cover the eye. But that's the way it is in the picture, so. I'll just do what I can see. And then this comes down this way. And then this comes down into here. Then we have another line in there. And then his horns, right, coming out of his head. So, like here, so here's one. And you draw, you draw this line first because it's coming out of his hair, so you gotta draw the hairline first. And then this one comes out here. To there and then more hair really long right so coming down this way another one here here and this long hair comes down behind the knife all the way down there. And then this spike comes in behind his hand there. And this comes down behind there. Here. Top of his head, kind of here. And he's got like collarbones and stuff inside here. So it's like necklines and collarbones and all, like stuff like this. So he's a real skinny kind of guy. So he is a death god. <laughs> so, and you can just see kind of ribs or chest bones or something going this way. And this way as well. I wonder if he knows Ryuk from Death Note. <laughs> I wonder if they're friends. Right, so keep going. So he got he's got big long hair, okay, so like crazy big spiky hair coming out. Like all this stuff. Right. You could do this anyway, like it's just you know, the animators always do it differently to one another, so it changes like that. And then his arms, so his big sleeves and arms come out from here, right? So he's got like one here. It comes out and there's like this smoke coming off him or something. And then his arms kind of go off my page, right? He's got these big sleeves, so it's, it's up to you what, how much you want to draw in, right? And then the big sleeve comes down this way. And then it goes off to there. And we can just see like some of his fingers here, right? So like a little bit, they go off my page. But I'll fit in what I can. So he's got like big long nails, right? That sort of hold. You don't have to draw these in. You could just keep the sleeve going and no one would notice. But... So these big long fingers. So sort of here, right, like that, and then the sleeve comes down on the inside there. And he's holding like beads or something in this hand, if you've room as well, like if you want to get that in. And then fold line here, and then a fold line maybe here. And he's more hair in behind, but we'll just get the rest of his clothing in. Same thing over here, right? So big, long sort of sleeve line going down that way. 
Yeah, and the other side will come down here. And something back here, like sort of this smoke or something coming off them. Energy kind of thing. And there's some fingers there as well. So you have the option of just keeping the sleeve going and not putting in the fingers, you know. Maybe they're just covered by the sleeve. No one would notice, but I'll, um, I'll draw it in it's for anyone who wants to. Another sort of finger here, the big finger, spiking fingernail. Another one beside it, so you just do this kind of stuff. And then another one there. So, and then the rest of his hair in behind, right? So you just add these spiking hairlines. So he's real big, like he's like, you know, he's floating and he's all creepy and stuff. So the hairlines are all real big and they go all the way around. Now I won't be able to fit it off because it goes like quite large, like all the way like back way up, okay? But if you have more room, feel free to just go the whole way up or and around the other side. It's very easy to find this image as well. Just type in Minato Death Seal into Google. Comes up pretty quickly. Um, there's actually a cool statue of it. You know, one of those collectible statues. Okay, that's it. Is it? Check, make sure. Did I miss anything? No, that's it. That's how to draw Minato. That's it. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.